What's up, boxing fans? I just want to touch on something. My voice is a little scratchy, but you know, I got some uh, information for all the boxers out there that's looking for management or think there's a reason why you don't need management. Okay, first of all, you don't have to give up a big chunk of your purse. Um, most promoters and fighters now, they deal with the fighters directly, unless there's a manager in between and you like a class C fighter, then you need to link up with a manager that's connected to the promoters that have you fighting. Uh, in my personal opinion, I don't think a manager should, should ask for any more than 20% of your purse. Um, uh, if you're looking for a signing bonus as a as coming up from the amateurs, uh, you need to have a solid resume. I mean, winning the nationals, Olympic trials, Golden Gloves, uh, anything of that nature puts you in position for signing bonuses from the promoters, not so much from the manager. Um, also, on a recent event, you want to make sure that that your manager knows boxing. Uh, and kind of foresees the movements and shakings that's at, happening with each promoter. I give you an example. I'm the manager of now light heavyweight um, Jesse Hollywood Hart, and his contract ran out in April. So he fought Gilberto Ramirez. Gilberto Ramirez won by a razor thin decision. We talked to the WBO. The WBO said, well, when we don't have plans on moving Jesse Rankins. He can fight for the title again since Gilberto Ramirez is moving up to light heavyweight. All of a sudden, Billy Joe Sanders decides to move up to super middleweight from uh, middleweight, and he gets the number one ranking, which is politics, okay? So they now drop Jesse from number one to number three, and moved the number two guy up to maybe one or two, or kept him at two. So now that Billy Joe Sanders has the opportunity to fight, um, I, I forgot to get she fat. I think the issue she fat for the world, the vacant world title. Um, Billy Joe Sanders, as you guys know, he won the vacant the vacant WBO title, which was promised through words to Jesse Hart. So. Top rank initially says, well, sit tight. Uh, Billy Joe Sanders, nine times out of 10, going to win the world title. You'll get a shot at Billy Joe Sanders in September. Now, this is where my job came in at. I said, no, Jesse, I don't trust the politics of boxing. Now, let me, what I did, I went out and I reached to Eddie Hearns because Eddie Hearns has a good stable on 168s. He has uh, Colin Smith, uh, Rocky Feldon at the time. Um, he had some work at 168. With top rank losing Gilberto Ramirez, there was no big names for Jesse to fight at top rank. And most boxers fight in-house uh, boxers. So there wasn't no money to be made. Now we're at the end of our contract, top rank do they want to resign us? So. What I said to Jesse was, listen, Jesse, I need you to focus on boxing. Let me focus on the business of it, which that's the deal that he had, we have, and he trusts me. And I said, hey, there's no work for you at 168 at, with top rank. Eddie Hearns got a, a little bit over there uh, with, with matchroom boxing at 168. But... We want to stay with the top ranked family. You won uh, the national pal at 178. You beat up all the heavyweights and the cruiserweights and the light heavies when you're sparring. Are you willing to move up to light heavyweight? I believe in you enough that we can get this money, okay? Moving forward, I'm, I'm putting all the business out there so that you guys can kind of understand what you're looking for in the manager. So I called Top Rank up. I said, listen, Top Rank, I know we up at the end of our contract. We like to have a meeting because we know for sure Billy Joe Sanders is going to pull some BS, which he did, which he now did, and he 
walked away from Frank Warren, walked away with the WBO belt, and went over there with Eddie Hearns. We need big money fights. I mean, Jesse, unfortunately, he lost two, two fights to Gilberto Ramirez, but he's a big name, and he's a solid fighter. We need to make something happen financially. We knew that top rank had, I think, three of the four light heavyweights, which was Gossvick, um, Benavides, uh, sorry if I'm saying the names uh, right, and also Kovalev. Okay, so now it's like, all right, Jesse, when we go to top rank office, this is what we need. We, we have to take on, Gilberto Ramirez moved up to light heavyweight. He fought a journeyman, uh, Thomas Karpinski. You know, easy fight, way to get your feet wet. You know, it, it would be in a safe position to get a shot at Kovalev because the WBO, since he surrendered his belt, they also gave him, you know, the politics of boxing, the shot at the winner of Yardies and Kovalev. So I said, Jesse, we got to jump right in and dance with the big dogs. We want the best available name at 175. You do your job, I'll do my job. We walked in that office, they initially said, well, the best uh, available name is is uh, Elder Alvarez, as you know, the one that knocked out Kovalev. It was gonna be an easy fight, because Jesse is a phenomenal, you gotta know your fighters. Jesse is a phenomenal fighter. So, that was the first guy that we got, I guess Alvarez was like, whoa, I just lost to Kovalev. I can't come back fighting a talent like Jesse Hart. He pulls out. So listen, we want the best available guy. Next next opponent, Selva Barrera stepped up to the plate, you know, which we salute him for that. Um, we knew that Selva Barrera was a seasoned veteran, solid, strong, and we knew if we beat, beat him, we right in the mix of not only making money, but getting a shot at a world title. So we come up for rene renegotiation of his contract. Let me explain something to you guys. Signing bonuses are for amateurs, okay? You know, you you really don't know what you're gonna do in the pro ranks, so you wanna kinda get the most for your, your bang at the beginning of your career. But once you start your career, you know what you're worth, so you don't do a signing bonus when you re-sign with anybody. You do a fight purse minimum, okay? Fight purse minimum is saying, listen, this is the minimum number that I'm willing to fight for, no matter what it is. Uh, that way, you, you kind of secure um, the least you can make for a fight. So they can't offer you anything but the minimum agreed upon uh, purse. So make sure you remember that when you resign with these promotional companies. So moving forward, now the best move that I made is I said, listen, once again, I'm taking you back to the beginning of this conversation. I told Jesse, listen, it won't be no work with you, for you, with top rank at 168. Gilberto Ramirez, the biggest name they have, he gave up the belt. He gave it to Billy Joe Sanders, and you know how they move. Then they don't. I'm not saying that they're not honorable, but they're businessmen at the end of the day, and they're going to do the best business for that boxer. They're not going to fight you. We have to move up and wait if we want. If we're going to stay with the top ranked family, or we have to go with another promoter. We 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 made our statement at light heavyweight, and we're totally happy with the decision that that you made. So, in closing, do you need a boxing manager as a boxer? Yes, you do. You need somebody that no boxing. You need somebody that can foresee the moves. You need somebody that that knows the minimum fight purse you should get. You need somebody that's not going to steal from you. You need somebody that's not asking for a lot, but willing to work hard for you. So you need to focus on perfecting your craft and being the best boxer ever. That that got to be the goal to be number one, not number two, not to make number one, not make a, a you want to make a lot of money. But if you reach for the top, everything else is love in the middle. So like I said, 
I'm Steven Andrews. You can hit me up on Instagram at Mr. MR Steven Andrews. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, the same Mr. Steven Andrews. Or email me at, oops, I'm sorry, Steven Andrews 411 at gmail.com. And like I said, I'm here for conversations, advice, whatever you guys need. Hit me up. Um, and I just want to see people be successful, especially coming from, you know, a tough background because it's hard to make it out here and you need people on your team that believe in you, that's going to get behind you and that's going to work hard for you. So I'm out. This is your boy, Stephen Andrews, the manager of now USA number one ranked light heavyweight, Jesse Hollywood Hart. Peace.